If it's important to you, it's important to us. Whether home, auto, business, or farm, getting your policy with a local agent matters. Howman Insurance and Company, we're in your corner. It's wheels up this morning for South Dakota Vietnam veterans as they leave for another honor flight mission. We'll preview our coverage of their day-long trip to D.C. and back. And firefighters quickly put out a ceiling fire at a Sioux Falls home overnight. We'll tell you why the family was not able to return to their residence. Good morning. This is Kelloland on the go with all you need to know in news and weather as you start your weekend. We also have a long list of boredom busters coming up. But first, our top story. A crash at a busy Sioux Falls intersection sent one person to the hospital early this morning. A car ended up on its side at 10th and Cleveland just before 1 o'clock this morning. Police say the driver had stopped at the flashing red light on Cleveland, but was struck by another vehicle as the car entered the intersection. A passenger in the car was taken to the hospital with minor injuries. The driver was ticketed for a flashing red light violation. A Sioux Falls family had to spend the night away from their home following a fire. Sioux Falls Fire Rescue responded to a call of a possible electrical fire at a home on West 12th Street around 11.30 last night. Crews found light smoke and fire in the ceiling of the second floor and were able to keep the fire from spreading to the attic. The people inside got out safely and nobody's hurt. However, they could not return home because of the electricity being shut off. Mission 6 of Midwest Honor Flight began this morning with Vietnam veterans singing the national anthem at Sioux Falls Regional Airport. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light. 120 veterans left this morning for Washington, D.C. to see the memorials in their honor. The stops will include Arlington National Cemetery. Kelloland.com reporter Michael Guerin is on Mission 6 for a unique online experience aboard the flight. Watch for his live blogs throughout the day on Kelloland.com. There's also a section on the Kelloland News app dedicated to updates throughout the day. There you can also find details about the Welcome Home Ceremony, which is open to the public tonight in Sioux Falls. A wintry weather is not quite done yet in Kelloland. Here's meteorologist Grant Smith in the Storm Center. Good morning, Grant. Uh, yes, Perry, we still have some wintry weather in the uh, Midwest, and that includes the Kelloland area. We still have this upper level low that's still just spinning over the uh, over the area. Now, the good news is we are on the backside of that low, so as it moves away from us, we should begin to see some conditions improve. So this morning, still seeing some snow streaming in from the south, but as we go throughout the day that low will move to the east and because it's cut off from the moisture it's going to use all the a lot of the moisture up so we're going to go from uh, heavier snow to lighter snow uh, as we go throughout the day but we are on the back side of it so conditions should be improving throughout the day but we still have this winter weather advisory in effect uh, through the day uh, it's set to expire at 7 p.m. tonight because we're still seeing some blowing and accumulating snow we'll talk about those forecast details and look at the seven-day forecast, which does include a warming trend. It's all coming up here in just a couple minutes. All right. Thank you very much, Grant. Well, haunted houses are opening their creaky doors in Kelloland. The JC's Fear Grounds is open from 7 p.m. to midnight in the Fine Arts Building of the WH Line Fairgrounds. Admission is $15, $20 for a fast pass. Terror 29 is Sioux Falls' newest haunted house. An abandoned warehouse has transitioned into a circus freak show. The hours are from 7 to 11 tonight. Admission is $15. Terror 29 is located on Cottonwood Avenue just off of Interstate 29 at the Crooks Render exit. Shops in Davis, South Dakota are hosting a flea market and festival where you can buy yard art, clothing, gifts, plus baked and canned goods from 8 to 3. Lunch will be served in the American Legion Hall. Straw Bale Winery in Renner is hosting a harvest festival from 11 to 5. Enjoy live music, wine discounts, food vendors, and pumpkin painting. Country Apple Orchard south of Sioux Falls is hosting a harvest festival from 10 to 6. You can pick your own apples and pumpkins, plus enjoy homemade pies, caramel apples, and apple brats. Admission is free. Riverview Christmas Tree Farm near Canton is hosting a pumpkin festival from 10 to 6. Pick your own Halloween pumpkins, plus enjoy games, rides, pumpkin painting, a pumpkin slingshot, a scarecrow contest, and a haunted trail. Admission is free. Hope Lutheran Church in Sioux Falls is hosting its 38th annual bazaar from 8.30 to 2. 
There'll be a bake sale plus Christmas items, quilts, plants, food, plus a grandma's attic. Admission is free. The South Dakota Rodeo Association finals are taking place at the WH Line Fairgrounds. Activities include a Dakota Cowboy Trade Show from 9 a.m. to 10 p.m. A high school extravaganza gets underway at 11 a.m. It's Special Olympics night at the finals, which gets underway at 6 o'clock. Admission is $12, free for ages 12 and under. Grant. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at your forecast. Uh, you know, we do still have this winter weather advisory in effect for today for these counties in the blue. And this goes until 7 p.m. Central Time because we're still seeing some strong northwest winds. 15 to 25 miles per hour in the west, and that's the least amount. We're looking at even stronger winds in the east, and also the snowfall amounts will be accumulating again. Now, this is just the snowfall estimates for just today through tonight. So, the northeast, right along the Coteau area, especially along the edges, that's where we could see the two to four inches uh, in the area. But if you are not in this region, looking at less than two inches in the farther to the south or the west yard, you're looking at even lighter amounts. Uh, than that when it's all said and done. So here's a look at your future cast for today. Notice how the snow streams in from the north. So the southeast starting the day off with some clear skies, but yeah, the clouds will be back. Uh, but the west, kind of right there on the outside edge of the uh, of this uh, storm, so they're looking at sunshine for today. Also, the southeast might see some temperatures above freezing, so a little bit of some rain uh, mixed in with the snow. And then once we get to the evening, leftover snow. This evening, and then the overnight, maybe just some leftover flurries once we get past midnight. And then, as we go throughout the rest of the day, that storm begins to move away from us. Surface high pressure begins to build, and that should begin to thin out some of those clouds. So, your seven day forecast is looking just a little bit sunnier as we head into the next few days. Here's your forecast for today 30s and 40s, sunshine in the west, breezy, snowy, windy conditions in the east. And then tonight, the snowfall comes to an end. Just some leftover flurries overnight. A lot of 20s to low 30s uh, overnight, but yeah, we could still see a few teens in the west. And then tomorrow, clouds decreasing from west to east. So the farther into northeastern Colorado you are, looking at more mostly cloudy skies, 30s and 40s. But yeah, the southwest. Starting to see some 50s in your seven day forecast continues that warming trend. Uh, looking at Sioux Falls topping out near 60 degrees next Thursday and Friday. Also looking at dry skies once we get through today. Aberdeen also looking at a warming trend, upper 50s by the time we get to Thursday and Friday. Also looking at staying dry, but yeah, looking at more partly cloudy to mostly cloudy skies. Uh, and then central South Dakota, mostly sunny to partly cloudy skies. Also looking at temperatures slowly warming back up by Thursday and Friday, lower 60s expected. And Rapid State out west, mostly sunny to uh, partly cloudy skies. Also seeing temperatures warming up to the lower 60s by Thursday and Friday. Well, thank you for joining us for Kelloland on the Go. You can get up-to-the-minute developments right here on Kelloland.com. Have a great day.